Today I'm going to talk about watercolor gradients and transparencies. I'm going to start out using the Prang watercolors, everyday kid watercolors anyone can use. And let's talk about transparencies and gradients. If I want to make a painting interesting, I'm probably going to have to fill parts of it with blocks of color. So the way to do that is get your water. Remember that we always use two cups of water. One cup is for cleaning your brush. The other cup is for adding water to paint. The reason for that is that you want to always have your colors be as pure as possible. So I'm going to get my paint wet and I'm going to make a transparency with red. So let's just make a little square here. Got to have right, just the right balance with my water. And you want to work kind of quickly. Just covering the paint with one layer of color. It's always better to use less paint than more. Because you can always add, but it's tougher to take away. If you do want to take away some of that color, you can dab it with a paper towel. But I don't. I'm going to keep adding to this transparency. So this is a transparency of color, it's, or it's also called a wash of color. And you can let that dry and you can do other colors over top of it and add more depth. So let's talk about a gradient. I'm going to do this one with orange. Start with a little bit of orange here. This is a dark orange and then I'm going to use my water, wash my brush. I'm going to put my water right here so you can see what I'm doing. Rinse off, wiping my brush. Whoops, knock the camera. Rinse off, wipe my brush, and then I'm going to dip it into this water. Even though this isn't dirty yet, I just try to get these habits. And then I'm going to just take this down with the water. If I want it a little lighter, I'm just going to dry this off a bit. And then I can get my water my brush wet again, give it a dry. It gets lighter and lighter. This is how you create a gradient from dark to light. And you can always add, um, say I want to add a little red into this and make it really dark on this side. I can do that. But I have to keep continuously rinsing my brush, adding water, tapping. It's not a simple process. It's something that you really have to take your time on. Let's try a gradient from color to color. If I wanted to do, let's see, from green to blue, so I'm going to take my green on this side, I'm going to make a little, and I would make it a little bit neater if I were really wanting to spend time on this, but rinse my brush, wipe it off, rinse it again. I'm going to grab some blue on this side. And this I'm going to get a lot of blue. So get a little water, quite a bit of blue, and then I'm going to grab that. Take that over, rinse my brush, wipe it off a bit so there's just enough water to blend. So if I tape this, it's even going to be more perfect and more straight. So there's a color to color gradient. So these are three things that you need to learn how to do when you're just starting out in watercolors is practice your blending. And it doesn't hurt to practice several, several times. You can always get better at this. These are the basic watercolors. Let's see what it looks like when we use a little bit of a higher quality watercolor. This is a Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus Fine Art Watercolor. And it comes in a dropper. It's highly concentrated. So I'm going to grab some water. And I'm just going to put some water down on my paper. Make a square. I'm actually going to drop that right on there. This is the difference between student quality watercolors and professional quality watercolors. And you do get what you pay for. These are quite a bit brighter. But you get the same idea. These also seem to blend a little bit better. 